The Monash PhD is already a PhD for the 21st century with training built in which helps the students both during their PhD and after they graduate in the workplace. But we realised that so many of our students had experiences during their PhD where they would do things like to do a placement at another institution or an overseas university or be involved in an interdisciplinary project. And we wanted to make sure that all of our students had an opportunity to be involved in an experience like that during their PhD. My research area is antibiotic resistance. Doing my PhD here at Monash University has allowed me to incorporate interdisciplinary dimensions into my research. Here throughout my PhD I've had the opportunity to travel heaps of conferences and meet world-renowned researchers throughout the world that I've been able to collaborate with to fight the antibiotic resistance problem. The faculty is a great place to do PhD. It's situated here in Melbourne which is a fantastic place to, to live and work. It's one of the world's most livable cities. So within the discipline we're ranked number one in Australia and number one in Asia Pacific and most recently have been ranked number four in the world. So we're located here in, in state-of-the-art facilities just a couple of k's outside of the Melbourne CBD on the, the Parkville Strip here which is next door to many of the major research institutions within Melbourne. One of the unique thing about MIPS is the fact that it has five different research themes in one faculty which you seldom see under the umbrella of pharmaceutical sciences. So this enables you to take your research project from basic aspects of medicinal chemistry and drug discovery biology to the applied aspects of drug delivery and dynamics. What we want is this to be a real value-add um, experience in the, in the student's PhD and so they come out really competitive for jobs um, either the, in industry um, or, or within the university system. The program has choices. Uh, one of those choices is a laboratory rotation program. Um, another is to work in an interdisciplinary project. Another is where you might do a placement in different labs at home or overseas. Um, and the, f the fourth option is a joint PhD, one with the University of Warwick and one with the University of Nottingham. So I'm a biologist by training. I don't actually have a background in pharmaceutical science. So I was a little hesitant in going um, to do a PhD in farm sci because it's such a different field to what I've been trained in. But actually I found out that there's absolutely a place for me here that I'm thriving and really learning in because of the co-location of all these different facilities, all these different departments that really values a biologist. Through the Monash Warwick Alliance, I was able to do a year of my PhD at Warwick University in England. And, I'm, and over, while I'm over there, I'm gonna learn from one of the best polymer chemistry groups in the world. So as part of an ongoing collaboration with Stockholm University, I was able to go over and visit Sweden when they are worked in the laboratories to produce these polymetric particles that I'm using in my studies. Studying in a different city is really fun because you get to have the university life as well as study and so you can experience a different culture and not have to stop or postpone your PhD. 